In this video, I will be discussing with you 10 things that every solo player needs in GTA Online. This list is going to range in no particular order, so you will want to stick around until the end of this video to find out everything about the top 10 things every solo player needs in GTA Online. But before we can move ahead with this video, do consider subscribing to the channel, as I do post content just like this all the time. Now let us move on to the video. In GTA Online, the arcade is one of the most useful properties in which you can own, and this is for the reasons. The first reason is that you can manage all of your businesses from this location through the Master Control Terminal, and which is one of my favorite purchases I have made. This makes managing all of my stock a lot easier, and saves me traveling across the map just to purchase my supplies. The other reason is that the arcade gives you access to the Diamond Casino Heist, and which is arguably the best heist in GTA Online, competing with the KO Perico heist in terms of which heist is better. Obviously, you need the players to complete this heist, but this heist couldn't go without mention. Buying this property is a no-brainer, as it comes with two of the best ways to manage and earn money in GTA Online. The CEO office is a purchase in which is essential for you to buy in GTA Online. This gives you access to two major businesses in GTA Online, being the special and vehicle cargo businesses. If you own a special cargo warehouse, you can export excess crates to the docks from your office building for $50,000 every 48 minutes. An overall good investment, which is needed in GTA Online. The agency is one of the best businesses in GTA Online, and that is because of the fact that there is three main money methods with this property, the security contracts, payphone hits, as well as the Dr. Dre contract. Security contracts are smaller missions which take a few minutes to complete and can be done in sessions. These missions will net you anywhere from $30,000 through to $80,000 depending on the difficulty of the mission, with the best security contracts that you can complete being the Recover Valuables and Vehicle Recovery missions. Payphone hits are unlocked from completing five security contracts and can be requested from calling Franklin on your phone. Provided you complete the assassination bonus, you will receive $45,000 for work completed in less than 5 minutes. Once completing a mission, you will get a 10-minute cooldown before being able to do the mission again. And with the Dr. Dre contract, you can make $1 million for around an hour's worth of work. This is one of those money methods which is better to slowly set up over time, or rather it being completed when you're on the likes of a Diamond Casino Heist or KO Perico Heist cooldown. There will be a 48-minute cooldown on this contract upon completion. The nightclub in GTA Online is by far the best passive business in the game. It requires a bunch of other businesses to set up properly, and a massive investment. But once this business is set up, it will make you a lot of money. You also have the passive safe income with this business, which can be gained through high popularity in your nightclub, and this can easily be maintained through rebooking DJs when your popularity drops, making this a completely passive income source. The Auto Shop has two money methods in GTA Online in which you can take advantage of, with them being the customer vehicle deliveries, as well as the Auto Shop robbery contracts. The vehicle deliveries are similar to vehicle cargo, with them requiring you to customize a vehicle for a small fee, and then selling it on to a customer to make a profit. And then the main money method with the Auto Shop is the robbery contracts. These are like mini heists requiring you to complete to set up missions, and then a finale, only taking you around 20 minutes to fully complete. In regard to payout, you can make anywhere between $130,000 through $270,000 for these missions, making them a solid money method. Special cargo is a passive active business, meaning that you can either do this business passively or actively go out and source crates for your business. The way you do this passively is through requesting your warehouse staff to go out and source your crates, whereas with the active method, you need to go out and source your crates. If you do not have the money for large warehouses, I recommend starting out with either to small or to medium warehouses. However, if you have the money for five large warehouses, I recommend getting these. It will be quite costly initially, but you will make your money back easily, as well as a decent profit after your first sale, making this investment worth it. Time trials are a money method that can be completed once per week. I recommend only doing the regular time trial and the HSW time trial, as these will net you the most money upon completion. The regular time trial pays $100,000 and the HSW time trial will net you $350,000. You will need your own customized vehicle to complete these time trials. There is one really good vehicle in which can be used for both of these time trials, with the being the Hakaku Drag with HSW upgrades. This is the fastest motorcycle in the game, 
and allows you to easily complete both time trials without the stress of needing to really rush to the location. Vehicle Cargo is a business where you are required to source cars and deliver them to your warehouse, and then sell them on for a profit. This is one of the older businesses in the game on this list, but it is still a really fun and profitable business. The La Mesa Warehouse is the best location for your warehouse, as it is right by a highway, allowing you to easily leave the city. Additionally, I recommend that you keep 10 standard range vehicles and 10 mid-range vehicles in your warehouse, and do not sell them. This is because if you have 10 of each of these variations of vehicles in your warehouse, you will only be sourcing top-range vehicles, which is the most profitable vehicle upon selling your stock. The Hangar has been one of the best businesses in the game since the release of the land sourcing and selling missions with the San Andreas Mercenaries DLC. Each mission will take you three to four minutes to complete if you know how to job warp, in which I have a guide posted on my channel for how to do this, making the whole process a lot easier. You can fully fill up your hangar solo in around two hours. However, if you have more players with you to help out, you can easily fill up your hangar in around an hour, which is great to do on double money event weeks. On a normal event week, in a populated lobby, you can sell your hangar stock for around $3,900,000 and $7,800,000 on a double money week. This is one of the best businesses in GTA Online now since it has been made a lot easier for both experienced and newer players to fill up. And another benefit of this business is the fact that you will not get your business stock rated, no matter how many crates you have. So if you want to fill up your hangar and wait for a double money week, you will not get your business rated. The Kasaka is arguably the best purchase you can make in GTA Online aside from the Oppressor MK2. The Kasaka gives you access to the KO Perico heist, which is the best heist in GTA Online that you can do to make money easily. This only takes around 20 minutes to set up, and if you complete the finale with two players, you will only receive a 48 minute cooldown compared to a 2 hour and 20 for minute cooldown if you do this solo. You can easily skip over the cooldown if you take advantage of completing this heist on both characters, as this will allow you to not get a cooldown on the heist. Now since you have made it this far into this video, I will provide you with one bonus thing that every solo player needs in GTA Online. The Acid Lab is an amazing business in GTA Online, simply due to the fact that you can do this business completely solo, not needing other players to help you sell your stock due to you only receiving one sell vehicle per sale. This was introduced in the Los Santos Drug Wars DLC and can net you a decent chunk of money. If you sell your stock in a private lobby, you will receive around $330,000 per sale. Whereas if you want to make more money with this business, you can sell your stock in a populated lobby and make $500,000. On double money weeks, you can make over $1 million per sale making this a must-own business. As I had mentioned earlier on in the video, I do post frequent GTA Online content, ranging from the likes of GTA Online guides, news, speedruns, and GTA 6 content. Additionally, I also stream around three different times a week on this very channel, where I do heist, businesses, and help out subscribers, so if you want to jump into a really friendly and kind community, consider subscribing to this channel. And now, I'll see you in the next one.